Hey everybody, just a quick video this week because I'm busy making sausages for myself and for my friends and these are videos that are already up on the channel and I am actually going to be slowing things down a little bit this year because weekly videos take a ton of time and I like to do a lot of different things, some of which I've been putting aside for a long time. I will keep putting up plenty of recipe videos and if any of that other stuff that I'm doing feels interesting, you might just see some of that as well. But for this week, I want to talk about an issue that I've been asked about a bunch of times on the channel and that is tough casings on your sausages. So let's take a look at this batch of jalapeno and cheese sticks that I've got in the smoker right now and we'll see if I can answer that question for you. Now, these sausages have been in here for a while and as usual, after I stuffed these, I hung them in the sausage closet for an hour to dry out the casings. Then I brought them out here and since these casings were nice and dry already, I went right into a 130 degree smoker. Uh, with natural casings and even with the collagen casings like these, I usually bring them out and let them hang at 110 degrees for an hour to continue to get these casings really nice and dry. But if you're having issues with tough casings, a lot of time the culprit is keeping the sausages at low temperature for too long before raising that temperature up and cooking them off. And by low temperature, I'm talking about temps below 180 degrees. So today I went with one hour at 130, one hour at 140, and now I've got them at 150. And they've been in here for about an hour and they're probably going to take a couple of more hours to get to where I like them. I usually hold these guys at 150 until they start to wrinkle a little bit from the top all the way down to the bottom. Then I bump it up to 180 for a quick finish. But if what you want is a drier stick, like the ones you can buy at the grocery store or off the Mini Mart checkout counter, those are usually dried way down and have a really deep wrinkles and concentrated flavor, and they're great. But one way to get there is to continue to let these hang in the smoker at 150 until they dry out and look that way, then bump it up and finish them at 180. But that can lead to these tough casings from cooking too long at low temperature. It's usually not that bad and I've done it that way plenty of times, but if you don't want to risk it, there is another way. And that is to let them hang. Now I pulled these out of the smoker when they hit 155 degrees Fahrenheit internal and these look about the way that I like them. They're still nice and plump and they're going to be good and moist inside. But if you want these things to dry down further and concentrate the flavor and you don't want to have to worry about toughening up these casings, just let them hang. Let them hang out in your sausage closet. This can even work in the refrigerator or anywhere that's kind of room temperature and you got some good air circulation and bugs can't get to it. And you can let these things hang out for several days. This is cured meat. You don't have to worry about spoiling it. I mean, just look at that little box that sits on the mini market countertop day in and day out. Let me tell you, they're not changing those things out daily. So I'm going to pull some of these out now and put them in the refrigerator. And the rest of them, I'm going to let hang out here for a day or two or three days until they look nice and wrinkly and dry and then we'll compare the two much 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 later now let's take a look at these two sticks from the same batch here's the one that i put into the refrigerator first i took this out of the smoker and then dunked it in the ice bath and then i let it hang in the sausage closet for almost 24 hours and then i put that into the refrigerator you can see it's still a bit flexible, but it's not limp. This thing can stand on its own. Nobody's looking for a limp sausage. Now let's give that a try. Mmm. It's really tasty. It's still nice and tender. It's got a good amount of moisture left in it, and that casing is not tough at all. Now take a look at this one. This one has been hanging in the sausage closet for three days 
and you can see the grooves are much more pronounced here than that first one because it's lost significantly more moisture. And when you're letting these hang for an extended period of time, just take a peek in there every day, give your sausage a little tug and a pull, never be afraid to handle your sausage. And that way you can keep a close eye on it because if you let this thing go too long, it's gonna be thin as a pencil and hard as a rock, which is probably just as bad as a limp sausage. I'll just take a look at that. It's stiff as a board and check this out. Oh yeah, that has a great snap on that casing. Well, let's give it a try. Mmm, it's definitely got a more concentrated flavor, but it's still not too salty at all. It feels a little fattier on the tongue because now it is a little fattier than the first one because it's lost some moisture. Just you can take a look at the diameter of these two and see how much girthier that first stick is than this one. But I like these both <laughs> quite a lot. And I normally take them out and make them this way, even though I like this just as much, but this is closer to the kind that you can find at the store. They're both great versions of the same sausage, and you can make both styles in a single batch. So if you can't decide whether you want medium moist or gas station groovy, just go ahead and have both. And that is just the tip of the week.